Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. In the last episode we did some trade runs, we got some money back in our pockets and we're feeling a little bit happy. Today I have a rather strange idea and I, I want to try and kill the Constant Companion. Which is silly on so many levels but uh, I don't know, I just I want to. I don't want to lower my terror. That would be a problem. We need to have over 50 terror and then go under the Z and see if he shows up. Uh, but what I will do is I will repair my ship. I should also, I'm going to hire on a, a crew member. Can I hire just one one crew member? Is that allowed? He is. Welcome to the crew. And then we need to go to London. The dry dock. Put your ship in dry dock. We shall pay have it completely recovered. And then I need to make sure that I actually have the right things equipped. Let me just double check. There we go. Okay. Memento Mori and the Caminus Yard's Hell Thrasher. We have upgraded our skills quite significantly since we last engaged in combat. So hopefully this won't go horribly wrong. Do I have any... Port reports. Refuel, you see. Cumane Canal. Oh, that one isn't. That's just five echoes. Irem, one fuel, 20 echoes. The Hut, one fuel, 55 echoes. And Demu Island, one fuel, 20 echoes. We're going to need quite a lot of fuel, I feel, because we're going to need to be staying out in the black for a while. And we're also going to have to be able to lower our terror after we've killed it, assuming we win. I really hope we do. I don't see why we wouldn't. We beat Mount Nomad, for God's sake. Mount Nomad is huge. Let's just quickly go to the shop. I'm going to buy like 15 fuel. Uh, uh, 20 fuel, 15 supplies. That seems pretty fair. All right. Let's uh, let's set off. I, it feels so weird not lowering my terror. Should I try to achieve something while I'm doing this? Or should I just focus on just like letting my terror go higher? Hmm. It is a tough decision because I can't really kill things because it will make my terror go down. Honestly, I don't think it's going to take that long to, uh, to lower the terror. Let's let's head over to like the Duhut area. So if we do need to lower our terror, we can. Now, from what I understand, it needs to be 50 terror on the surface, and then you go under the water for him to show up. Or maybe it shows up even if you're underwater already. I don't actually know. The only time I've ever shown up before, I've ran away in a massive panic because I've been told that it's just horrendously dangerous. But I'm... I need to know. Worst case scenario, we'll run away. It'll take me a while to just get this terror up, isn't it? Let's, um... I suppose I could just sit out in the, uh... In the ocean and hope for the best. Ah, oh, there's Godfall. We've spent some time at Godfall in the evolution storyline that I'm playing through. It's very interesting. Episode 6, I believe it was. Yes, we're hiding in there from the wax wind. Oh wait, no, is that the episode that hasn't come out yet? Oh no, we are hiding in there from the wax wind. No, it's fine. <laughs> I've recorded like two episodes at the same time, and when you do that, they, they merge together in my in my memory. Um. Yes, we're helping the uh, the science man. It's a very, very interesting story. I'm, I'm excited to see where that's actually going to go. With the key in his, in the back of his neck. All right, Terra's at 34. We are getting close to Demu Island, so the hut is just around here. 13 hunger, 17 fuel. I think we're doing well. Is that the? It is. It's the pirate poet. I'd love to. I would love to help fight you and take your money, my dear, but I. I would lose terror, and that would actually set me back in my goals here. That's just a pirate's pirate pinnace. Yes, it is. 35. Stay, staying out of lights. It's like I'm trying to play this game badly. How hard it is to undo. Oh, my terror just went down. Hello? Can it go? There we go. <laughs> Need those red pips. This is so alien to me. Where are we? We're near the hook, right? I'm going to stay around here. 
I don't want to go too close to the hut because there's the bloody Triskelligand. I mean, there's a chance there'll be an enemy underneath me here as well. In fact, should I check that out? Let's... Let's have a look. I think every time you go up and down, though, in the submarine, it, uh, it reloads what enemies and things are around you anyway, so... This might not be as helpful as I would like. Okay, here seems like a good place to, uh, to have a fight. Nice open area. Long sight lines. We have to pick our field of battle. Right, so we're going to burn through all of our fuel. And it's just a case of... Well... Waiting, I guess. High octane content right here. We're at 40, so it needs to go up another 10. Admittedly, it is going up quite fast. Faster than I would have anticipated it going up, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, when you're not paying attention to it. Yes, I don't really I don't think about how fast it's going up, or I'm trying to actively keep it from going up, so. Not quite so bad. We are eating through our food quite quickly though. I should probably be trying to do something, should Some sort of trade run or something, but... I could also go down to the Melting Isles, because there's a terror reduction there as well. Hmm. Because you see, if my terror gets too high, and he doesn't show up, I could be in trouble. I'm slightly worried about that happening. 45. And then when it's 50, I guess we just go under the sea and hope for the best. There's a rat brigade ship. Rat barge. Still blows my mind there are ships that are just crewed by the Rattus Faber. Who's their base? They must have a base somewhere, right? Is it just Nuncio? Can't be Nuncio, they're the postman. Forty seven. Forty eight. We're getting ever so close. Okay, when it gets to 50, I'm going to go under the Z and we're going to see what happens. Knowing my luck, he won't bloody show up. It's usually how it goes. 10 fuel, 10 hunger. Should probably be worried about... Whoop, I've gone too far from the Melting Isles. Oh, whoops a daisy. This is fine. Let's some crack pirates. Let's just ignore them. Okay, 51. Under the Z. Listen, or the chittering? I don't know if going up and down in the submarine will somehow make it better. This is, this is not a very good place to fight him. I'm going to go up and down a few times, see if that somehow forces the spawn. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to be like aimlessly wandering around under the sea. Back under. Normally, you hear the chittering as soon as you come down under the Z. Hmm. Bastards hiding. Hiding because I know I'm looking for him. Like, why are you purposely making your terror go high, player? Try that again. I don't know if this is actually helping. the windows? Another submarine? I don't think so. Why can I get fuel if I need it? It's going to be Khan's shadow, isn't it? Let's just stay under the water. We're at 57. I'm going to have to lower my terror. Soon. If he doesn't show up. 
Oh, hello. And again, maybe the higher my terror, the higher the chance that he shows up. Let's try going up and down again. little bugger, huh? He's over here. It's killing thing. Is that for a few? Food? I'll take it. And a shipwreck. I will retrieve the sunken treasure. Go on. The chest is so rusted it's easier to chisel away the metal than to open it. What could be inside? Oh, an outlandish artifact. Close examination reveals this was once a knot of flesh, salted for preservation. It has hardened until it resists even the edge of your... Juan Cliff? Sharp spines protrude from it, like a puffer fish. Why would anyone make such a thing? Sixty-one terror. Ow. I mean, I just lost ten terror, I guess. That's good. A burst of Irigo. We did just lose a hundred fragments, which is mildly annoying, but I guess... Losing terror is quite good, I guess. I don't know. In this current circumstance, uh, ten fuel, eight. Doing okay. It's literally just terror that's terrifying. Now... show up at the most inopportune moments then when I'm looking for you or being annoying and hiding from me and my terror needs to be higher than 50 like quite a lot higher than 50 yeah, about burning fuel as well I just know what to listen for it's the weird like tick, 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 tick. that noise Wait, no, that's... that's... what is that? I've never killed one of those. Well, yep, the... shoot it. Okay. That was just kind of the right noise, but not really. It will stop wriggling soon. Any moment now. We can send a crew into the carrion slick. The body is liquefying and spreading. Soon it will be nothing but a swirl of shadowed water. If you want to search the remains, you must act now. Uh, continue shining a light upon it. Never trust anything that seems in a hurry to die. 100% chance. You turn the lamps upon the spreading, undulating blackness of its carcass. You can hear the telltale sizzling sound through the hull. Something twinkles within the dark window of the nether as it leeches away. The star spread of a night sky interrupted by a canopy of leaves, a far off jungle, dark fruits and many fingered figures sway in the trees. You're, you tear yourself away from the porthole, and when you look again, it is all gone. Only clear water remains as though the nether had never been. We lost two terror, and uh, we gained an extraordinarily, extraordinary implication, which is very good and very rare. We have to go buy some bloody fuel. Uh, I put myself below me fifty as well, which is mildly annoying. Uh oh, mm. Mm. it's fine. Honestly, I didn't expect this to be quite so difficult. I always felt like the, the 
constant companion always showed up at the, like whenever I did this. He seems to be just proving me wrong for the sake of proving me wrong. I figure if I just stay underwater for a bit, maybe he'll show up. Free food? I'll take it. To like the De Hut area, there's some torpedo bits there. I don't think I've ever used a torpedo, you know. Five torpedo components. Maybe I should have looked at getting torpedo for fighting the constant companion. Not that I've ever actually needed one, I suppose. Uh, should I quickly dock in Khan's shadow to try and get some fuel and things while I'm here? Seems fair, doesn't it? I think I was about to run out of oxygen. I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I was. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Pushing the boundaries on this episode. Shadow. Should I sell them the Icarus in black? I mean, I'm never going to use it. Mm, I don't like selling things, but I don't have a place I can store stuff, which is mildly annoying. This is really expensive fuel, really expensive supplies, but I'm just going to... It's for the hunt. We have to make sure that we're not caught unawares. I really hope he does show up, otherwise this is going to be one hell of a wasted episode, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, 55 terror, okay. I'm going to just, I'm going to go, go back to like the Melting Isles sort of area. What does green do? Burst of Vidic. Plus 5 terror. Hunger minus 15. Mm. Oh, hello, Triscal again. No, don't... I don't want to fight you. I have come across the constant companion around here before. I know that as fact. I had to hide in the hood. He came at the worst possible time. You are not welcome here. May go lower my terror. I don't know, I'm living dangerously right now. Uh oh. It's another bloody nether. Eh, it'll let me lower my terror, I guess. We do so much damage now, it is just disgusting. This is to 58. I'm gonna continue shining the light upon it again. Oh yeah, we got another extraordinary implication. We did lose one terra though. We can come up with a place to actually use these extraordinary, impl in extraordinary implications. It may very well be useful. I'm gonna go up and then down again. I genuinely don't know how much going up and down helps, but I'm just going to keep doing it. It might actually be making it worse. There is a distinct chance. I feel like some of the times where I've come across the constant companion, it's been a, when I've accidentally hit the submarine button, or I, when having high terror. So I don't know if that somehow makes it happen. Listen for a second. He's not showing up. 
please. You're, you're ruining my entire episode idea right here. This is literally just turning into an episode of me talking while going around in circles, which arguably is the same as every episode I've ever recorded uh, of pretty much any game I've ever played, but that's hardly the point. Hmm. I'm gonna go up and then down again. My terror's quite high, it's at 62, you know? That's not... That's not insignificant. I don't know what the chances of him spawning are. Maybe it's just really rare? And in my head, I just think it isn't rare. It's also the Eater of Names we haven't fought as well. actually remember where the Eater of Names is. I think it's... I think it's around here somewhere. Oh dear. Saw that before I hit it. That's good. About time I learned how to drive. Hello, constant companion. This isn't an enemy. No, it isn't. <laughs> Some free fuel. I'll take it. the crew. Am I going up and down again? Oh, it's, a blue, it's a blue crab. Maybe it's just the area I'm in, but I don't think the constant companion has an area that he spawns. You can spawn everywhere. The only thing you need is the the terror requirement, which is I I will agree is getting a little bit out of control. I may just quickly pop into the mangrove college here and lower my terror. What's this? Uh, you will increase my terror. That doesn't seem like a good idea. You will also increase my terror. quickly pop into the mangrove college. I don't want my terror accidentally getting out of control and me dying. That would be funny, but uh, catastrophic at the same time. I should probably do this rounder hook, because they sell fu uh, fuel and stuff cheaper as well. Oh, whoops, mangrove college is down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Honestly, didn't think it was going to be this difficult. Uh, eat, drink, be merry. There we go. Lose 10 terror and out 62. Let's make our way over to the hut again. Under the Z. I figure the longer we spend under the Z, the more chance there is of it spawning. Come on, constant companion. You're not very constant. I feel we need to change your name. I feel I've been lied to. If you were in fact a constant companion, you'd be here all the time. And you'd also be friendly. Not trying to kill me. Just waiting. I'm waiting to hear the noise, the clicking that, that normally terrifies me. Maybe he doesn't know. I know for a fact it spawns around this area because it's happened before, more than once. In fact, normally he spawns all the damn time. I'm cursed. some f food, I guess. <laughs> While I'm here. The food's kind of expensive, but... 
this is costing me a lot more than I anticipated. Uh, let's let's actually lower my terror just a little bit. Uh, I'll make a poor pull while I'm here. Uh, one look, made no commitments. Lost ten terror. We're at fifty six. We're still above fifty. Let's keep this up. I want to annoy the Triskel again if I can get away with it. Go up and then down again. Is that going to make a difference? This is what this is just tempting fate, isn't it? I don't get it. I don't understand. And I don't want it to happen. It happens all the time. And I want it to happen. The game's like, nah. Oh, apparently I can't. Can't go here. I kind of expected those unfinished pirates to shoot at me. <laughs> Luckily they didn't. Maybe the constant companion doesn't spawn around an area? I'm pretty sure it does though. Am I going to have to look this up? Do you reckon there is any sort of information as to how you can make this happen? I get a funny feeling though that I already know from my own experience. What is that? Luke needles? A cluster of quivering spines shiver in the current. A dead fluke's flesh dissolves in water. These brittle remnants, however, remain stony hard. Remove something stuck on the spines. An unfortunate diver. Bones hang, impaled on the decaying spines. 44% chance? Well, ah, let's go. You don your diving gear. Your crew watch from the observation deck as you reach for the skeleton. Speared like a hooked fish. Your mind fills with song, solemn, echoing, watery, faltering, like the last notes of a baritone drowning in his bath. You know you will never see that place where you sang of your shapeful disgrace. Your crew reel you back inside and pry the skull from your hands. Gradually, your ears empty of the song. Oh, and I got to keep a lamentable relic. I have 36 skulls just in my ship. This is now a Warhammer ship. For the Emperor. More skulls, the better. I am I'm at genuinely running out of time in this episode. And he's just not coming, is he? He's being a pain in the ass. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm going, to, I'm going to. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to see if I can somehow find a piece of information that will somehow make this easier. Oh, sixty-five or above. Uh, okay, my my terror needs to be sixty-five or above for the constant companion to show up. I just had misinformation uh, in my brain. So every time I've been lowering my terror, I've actually been making it uh, less likely that the constant companion was going to show up. This does, however, make it slightly more terrifying. A lot less room for me to, like, make mistakes with that sort of terror. Let's see, now I'm at 65. Let's go back down again. Well, my apologies if you've been watching this going. It needs to be 65. There it is. Hello? Hello? You guys heard that, right? I didn't just... Hello? Constant Companion, I heard you some spawn. Hello? Let me just... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> ah! Did he spawn, like, inside a rock? Let me 
yes, now it's just not going to spawn. Nope, there it is. Lights, please. Ow. Okay, this is going to suck. Ow. Just keep shooting. Ow. The hole's okay. We're not doing too bad. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Ow. You have defeated a constant companion. A constant companion? Wait, you mean there's more than one? I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, its cluster of articulated legs are curled back on themselves. And its... Ooh, variegated stomach exposed? Its mandibles clack gently in a sea current. Otherwise, the companion's only movements are spasmodic jerks as its limbs stiffen in death. Right, so we have uh, three options. We can bring the grub aboard. The wriggling children of the companion still cling to their parents' husk. Perhaps one will live. It will be interesting to study at close quarters regardless. Uh, this will significantly improve your iron if it is not already too high. We have a 56% chance for that to happen. We can sever a limb and use it to brace the hull. Those limbs which attacked your ship could be put to use repairing it. And one of the claws was clutching something. Or we can take a memento and leave. Quickly. No good can come of interfering. This will significantly reduce your terror and it may raise all of your stats. I am, I am drawn by this, but only 56% chance? Ah, let's try it. It takes a pry bar and a pickaxe to detach a grub from the bulbous husk of its mother. It emits a constant, irritating noise, like the whine of a wasp trapped in honey, amplified and prolonged. Eventually, one of the small grubs pops free. Once on board the ship, the curled yellow mass wriggles and squeals before whitening and falling still. A crewman tentatively approaches. The, the grub writhes to life, burrowing into him hungrily. By the time you are able to separate them, both the crewman and the grub are dead. Hey, we gained five iron, though. I don't want to be heartless, but one crewman? Which I like to think is the new guy that we just hired at port. Uh, for five iron is a good trade. I'll take that trade. Now, excuse me, I need to go lower my terror. Where's the hook? Up here. Woo! Oh dear. This, this is, this is a little bit sketchy. Um. Yeah, so we beat the constant companion. I, I kind of want to fight it again. Because I want to see what the treasure was. Do you think, ow. Do you think we can get another one? Ten terror. I'm gonna see if I can just. I'm gonna see if another one will spawn. It is the end of the episode, but uh, I can probably cut something out in the in the uh, in the edit and make it so this video isn't ridiculously long. Um. Yep. Oh dear. Evasive maneuvers. Full speed ahead. I need to turn around. Ow. Need to turn around. Full reverse. Lights on. Oh dear. Ow. Once we get out of, like, melee range, it's a lot less terrifying. But he seems to want to stay in melee range. Okay, let's keep it at this range.
A second there, I was worried I had another one spawn behind me. Now that, that would be shit. Okay, we are hurt quite badly. I do not want to fight another one of these. Okay. Cluster of articulated legs, yes. Uh, let's claim a treasure. Those lum, li those lums, yes, good job. Those limbs which attach your sh attack to your ship could be put to use repairing it. The creature's carapace is difficult to scratch, or even get a grip on. Pliers, saws, a mallet, all break. At last, with a groan, a snap, and a spray of vitrian blood, a fragment of spindly limb comes free. Suited divers rivet the forelimb to the, your shell hull. And what's this? The companion was clutching something. So we got a captivating treasure. Wow, that is good. And we got 30 hull, which is not insignificant. Puts us a 56 terror. There is the final option. There is the final option, and that... Should I try? Should I try? Should we try and get one more? I would also like to point out that that constant companion turned up when I had less than 65 terror. <laughs> Not that I want to poke at the wiki, but I, I assume I think there might be something else going on here. Or maybe because I was under the water still, it hadn't reset, so there was still a chance for it to spawn? I, I don't know. I am gonna... Spend some money here. I can sell. I can sell a captivating treasure for zero caskets of sapphires. That seems like a really good trade, doesn't it? <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, okay, hang on. I'm gonna go go hide down here. I wanna. I wanna like just try the last one. I'm, while I'm here, I may as well make this the episode of the constant companion. You know. But if it's a captivating treasure every time, that would be insane. If it's five iron every time, that would be insane. Well, admittedly, you have to have already quite high irons to take advantage of this. You also have to be riding the line of pure insanity when it comes to terror. But I'm just interested what the final what the final one is. If it's just like minus 50 terror or something, that would be brilliant on its own right. If you're ever, ever in a position where your terror is high, but you have lots of fuel and supplies, you could dive to find a constant companion just to kill it and, and lower your terror. We'll, we'll see what kind of... Admittedly, it's, it's terrifyingly dangerous. It's ripping holes in my hull. It's not exactly easy prey. I will say that much. It's no Mount Nomad, though. I was, well, then again, Mount Nomad was mildly un... Like, it wasn't as terrifying as I thought it was. It was all flash, no bang. Whereas this is... I feel like its, it's ranged attack doesn't do much damage. It's quite rapid firing. So if you're in a low hull ship, it will rip you apart. But its melee attack is terrifying. That hits me for 40 a go. That, you don't get many of those in, in your ship before you die. And if you get caught on a piece of rock or something, oh, it'll just rip you apart. Two... On game. Back with me here. Give me the terror. Only time I've ever played this game and wanted terror. Yeah, that's informative. That's what this is. This is an experiment for science, but not like that science where I fired the hunt. Wait, can I fire? Can I fire the. Is that. Can I fire the Icarus in black? I Icarus in black? Do I actually still have it? And I have two monster hunters? Hang on. My time is now. I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, this is probably a terrible idea, actually, because you know, once the Icarus in Black runs out of bullets, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Guess I'll just hurriedly dock. Make sure it's actually there. It is there. Okay. Hopefully, it does enough damage to warrant not needing to reload and not rearm. Okay, 65 Terra.
do what we did last time. Go up, go back down again. Should hear it almost instantly, I think. game like you've, you've killed two stop being greedy I won't I won't tarry here for too long if it's too if it doesn't spawn then it's getting quite high as well we try we'll try the trick of going up and down again I'm running out of fuel here. Yeah. Constant companion? No? I don't think he's going to spawn. <laughs> Maybe there's an internal clock in the game that says they can't spawn too often. So. I think I'll have to make the hard choice of ending the the episode here. Maybe I shall try again in the next episode. Could be, could be a bit fun. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.